Ironically, Off-Road Mater is now one of the hardest Radiator Springs 500 and a half cars to get, yet he never actually appeared in the short. I honestly have no idea why that is. Without a doubt though, Off-Road Mater is a very nice diecast, but yeah, he never appeared in the short. However, Mater in general appeared in the short, but he had different costumes or outfits on and we'll talk about those later on in the video. But I guess Mattel had the mentality of since Disney Pixar didn't decide to put Off-Road Mater in the short, we're going to have to do it ourselves because most likely Off-Road Mater will appeal more to kids than for say, Stanley Day's Mater. And I have to agree with them. Off-Road Mater is a nice addition even though he didn't appear in the short. And yeah, I agree. This will probably appeal more to kids because it's essentially a monster truck. And as we all know, as a kid, it's so awesome to have a monster truck, at least for me. I remember in the Cars video games, there were monster trucks and I always wished that they were going to get released, but they never did. So we have to sell for Mater here, and he's a nice car, I really do like him. And we'll talk more about him and his details and releases in a few moments, but let's introduce the suggester of the video today. Sebastian Mater suggested this review to me, I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. You asked me to compare Off-Road Mater here to the other Radiator Springs 500 and a half racers, and I'll be doing that later on in the video. So, if you'd like to make a suggestion of your own, please, please, please watch the video in the description below. There's a link to it, and watch it all the way through so you can make suggestions properly. I've had a lot of incorrect suggestions lately, and I really don't have time to explain all the rules in the comments. It's just much easier if you watch this video. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. And now, let's get into a review here of Off-Road Mater. Now, like I said earlier in the video, Mater did appear in the short. In the beginning of the short, he had like a Hawaiian costume on, and of course, this whole short is about celebrating Stanley, the founder of Radiator Springs, and then the racers that you can see in the background there, Sandy Dunes, Shifty Sidewinder, Idle Threat, and over here we have Blue Grit. They came into town and challenged Lightning McQueen to a race, and he accepted, kind of interrupting the entire celebration, but that's okay. And then Mater actually put on a Stanley outfit. The Disney Store released that, pretty cool. Not really a big fan of this Disney Store release. It doesn't look the best, but I'm definitely happy to have Stanley Day's Mater in my collection because Mattel didn't release one. Very, very nice. As you can see, he's dressed up like Stanley. Of course, he had to put on the Stanley costume because McQueen went off racing, so he wasn't able to wear it anymore. Now, Off-Road Mater was originally released toward the end of 2014, and then he was re-released in the Radiator Springs 500 and a half line in 2015 around springtime. Also in spring 2015, we saw the first and only releases so far of Stanley Day, Sarge, and Fillmore. Very, very nice die cast. Some of my favorite versions of Sarge and Fillmore to date. Here's the package of Stanley Day's Sarge if you're interested. I love the rock formation going along the blister there. Love the art as well. Unique to Stanley Day's Sarge. Here's the back. It shows Sarge, Fillmore, Shifty Sidewinder, Off-Road Mater. On the other side, we have McQueen, Sandy Dunes, Blue Grit, and Idle Threat. Now, if you have the cars as fast as Lightning video game on app or Android, let me know if you have unlocked Sandy Dune, Shifty Sidewinder, Idle Threat, or a Blue Grit yet. I have not. They are very, very tough to unlock because they cost so many diamonds, but hopefully in the future I'll be able to unlock them. They look very, very fun to play. And now let's talk about Mater himself here. 
So I absolutely love his expression. He looks very determined and ready to win the race. Probably one of the best expressions Mattel has ever given Nader, at least in my opinion. Now on the front here, he has two add-on accessories, but both are not removable. Attached to his front bumper here, it looks to be some sort of towing cable. It's most likely used to pull another car out of a ditch or something like that. He also has a light bar, but as you can see, one of the lights is missing, which matches Mather's overall reputation of not having everything complete. As you can see, he's missing a hood and his left headlight there, so that's very, very fitting for him. Of course, he does have big off-road tires and they kind of move around a little bit, so it's a little bit more realistic. Here's the base if anyone is interested. Now, as you can see, the back portion of Mater is put together with a screw and the front portion is put together with a rivet. Now, that's because the front half of Mater, the cab, is metal and the back portion is plastic. They started doing that to all Maters quite some time ago, so it has been a very long time since we've seen a completely metal Mater. The one I have that's completely metal is from 2006. Now on the back here, you can see Mater's traditional A113 license plate and a spare tire in the back. A very, very nice addition, but I have to ask, how did Mater get that on there and how will he get it off? My only possible solution to that question is that he put it on when the tow cables here were off. That's the only way I can think he got that on there because as you can see, this would not be able to come off if he actually needed to put the spare tire on. So if you have any thoughts about that, please let me know. It's been a big question I've had for quite some time because Probably not the best place for a spare tire. Maybe some sort of side contraption here like Sarge has on the road trip version. Something like that probably would have been better. Now, of course, on the side here, he does have tow mater, towing and salvage, radiator springs. Now, let's compare him to the regular mater. They're basically the same except for the add-ons that I mentioned. The colors are a little bit different. Don't really know why that is, but that usually is the case for a lot of different variations for Mater. The colors do vary quite a bit. The fenders are also a little bit bigger. I forgot to mention that. As you can see, they're a little bit bigger than Mater's typical fenders. Everything else is basically the same. The tires are obviously different, but the rims are the same. As you can see, brown rims, yellow rims, and then on the other side, it's white and then brown. Here's the back. Nothing really changed with the license plate or the bumper there. Very, very nice though. Like I said, I love Off-Road Mater. Glad that they decided to make him even though he didn't even appear in the short. Now it's comparison time. Okay, up first is Blue Grit. As you can see, they're basically the same size in bulkiness. As you can also see, their light bars are very similar except for the fact that Mater's is missing a light there. I've always loved Blue Grit. Just a huge vehicle and I also really do like his spare tires in the back here. Very, very nice. Blue Grit is probably the biggest racer. Mater might just be a little bit smaller in actual model volume, I guess you can say. I'm getting a little sciencey here, but I do believe Blue Grit might be a little wider as you can see there. Now let's move on to another big one, but not as big. An open wheeler, Idle Threat. Very, very nice. He has a similar light bar there. I always liked that Idle Threat is sponsored by a few Piston Cup race companies. You can see Revolting there, Mood Springs, Little Torquey Pistons. Over here, there's Clutch A, Nitroade, and No Stall. Very, very nice. I love how the sponsors carry over from literally everything that Disney Pixar makes, such as Cars, Cars 2, maybe in the Planes movies, not entirely sure, and then into some of the shorts. 
Here we have Shifty Sidewinder. I always like this racer. He reminds me of a VW Bug. He has a different light bar than Mater because it's attached to the spare tire compartment on the roof there. He's number 67. Another reason why he reminds me of a VW Bug because this circle number logo is very similar to Herbie's number logo. I also always liked his big exhaust pipe in the back here as well. It's a little flexible too. Now let's check out Sandy Dunes, the dune buggy, the leader of this gang right here. Pretty sweet. Another one with a big exhaust pipe in the back there. And he does not have a light bar actually. He does have these two spotlights right here, but that is it. A nice racer though. And last but definitely not least is Mr. Lightning McQueen. As you can see, he has a red light bar. It can't be black or anything because it has to match his paint job. I love his roof rack and the spare tire there. He has a Radiator Springs logo on the spoiler there. And now he is sponsored by mostly all of the businesses in Radiator Springs. I really do like his tires as well. It makes the driving a lot more realistic. Very, very cool. And here's how he looks with Mater. Much, much smaller as with Shifty and Sandy. They look great together. I'll show you guys the regular versions in a second here. And the differences are pretty drastic. Here we have the regular Lightning McQueen, the World Grand Prix version, and Mr. Mater. Very, very nice. It reminds me of the Hot Wheels series Mild to Wild because these would be the mild ones and then these two are the wild ones. Very, very nice. So that's all for my review of Off-Road Mater. Hopefully you enjoyed this review, Sebastian Mateo, and it lived up to what you'd hoped it'd be. I'll see you guys all on Saturday for another review. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like it to be, like the Radiator Springs Cleanup 5 pack, or maybe something else that you know I have that I haven't reviewed yet and it is new, current. Just let me know, I'd love to hear some recommendations. I probably will review that 5 pack, or maybe the Road Trip singles I haven't reviewed yet, but I'm not really sure yet. So, we'll see, we'll see what happens, and I'll see you guys then. Let me know again what you guys think, hopefully you all enjoy, thank you very much for watching. Bye now! Hey, you guys want to hear a rhyme? Okay, okay. Off-road mater for Sebastian Mater. Yeah, I know. What an amazing rhyme. I'm just kidding. That was probably pretty cheesy.